seems I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. 23.47.15 system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Mm, Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 23.44.59 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that? No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. Alright. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry. I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> After all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? May as well kill them all. When did the Antimatter Legion become so weak? I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire Legion to come here? Oh, this lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here.
Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. other people's mess isn't in my job description. You know, Kafka? Uh, yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? Some random coordinates. Not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed that this fancy technique of yours is usual. Just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kinda wanna know mine. Fine, I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. And so that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. The central area of the space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. Combat needs optimizing. Hmm. At this speed, too slow.
called it. Someone or something is up ahead. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. That breathing sensation. Remember it. You took the bait just like that. May as well kill them all. That breathing sensation. Remember it. Time to say bye. single soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run it. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. can see the whole space station on the surveillance screen, but not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. Huh? I can't see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. <sighs> Make your way over here then. There's no point in trying to search like this. So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Hertus collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. Hmm, what's this? 
Item number 211, Line Spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? Strange thing number two. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for Herta, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herta can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said, it must be you who makes it. Why are you standing around? Having second thoughts? Yeah, we've always been the ones taking Stellarons. It's the first time we're giving one out. You're gonna think for this long? <laughs> Didn't make up your mind when you got out of bed this morning? Don't hurry me, Silver Wolf. This is a big decision. Wanna give him a new name? <laughs> There we go. How much does he remember? Hmm. I'll remember you. Time to get up. space station, but that's not important. Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving, and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. 
at the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? This is also a lovely answer. So, Elio can foresee the future, but he can't make decisions for you. Use that will of yours to reach the end of your story. That's the you I like. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silverwolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. Aren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. Harder? I'm sure you can at least remember your name. Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung, and this is March 7th. This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. Back to the master control zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express. Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. You and March go back together. Arlan from the security department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. All right, you stay safe. Hmm, maybe you should take this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Just a suggestion though, you're safe as long as you stick with me.
is full of fancy little gadgets. Herta's collection. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. <laughs> Enough dilly-dallying. We gotta go. Jerks made it all the way here. Watch this. to me. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Just a scratch. You can't run! I told you I could fight. Stay right there while I give you a present! than you look. Seem to be quite the fighter.
we'll take that elevator on the central platform to go down to the master control zone. Do you know the way? Um, I noticed that you're not wearing the space station staff uniform. Do you really work here? Never mind. I won't ask if you don't want to talk about it. Let's go! I'll take you to the safe zone! Make it quick. Ah, I 
I knew it. But it wasn't me. The Antimatter Legion must have broken it. <sighs> Too bad Don Hung's not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. Maybe even elevator repair. Uh, I don't know that one. Whoa! <sighs> Why are you here? And how did you get here before us? I took another route to the upper level, and I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured, but not fatally. You found him? Will he know what to do about this elevator? I suppose as the head of the security department, he should know. Then let's go talk to him. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. I told you I could fight. Watch this! Let's make it quick. Clemency? Never heard of it. You couldn't have done it without me. together? Yep, we're from the Astral Express. Oh, did Madame Herta send you to help? Uh, it's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. We didn't expect to arrive during an invasion. Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. I... have no idea. The Legion came at a very suspicious time, almost right after the security system suddenly failed. Lady... 
Lead researcher Asta immediately began to organize the evacuation. Don't be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. It was a wise decision to hide here and avoid a head-on encounter with the Legion. Yeah, most of the staff have been evacuated safely. So right now our highest priority is to return to the Master Control Zone and plan a counterattack. So, do you know how to use the elevator? I couldn't start it. After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the Legion away from the Master Control Zone. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must have given you the encryption key for accessing the elevator system? Oh, right. She did give me some sort of card. Mm. March. But where did I put it? You... Now that we found the key, we should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock the elevator. Let's go. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. We'll have to go there to use it. The space station was entrusted to Lady Asta by Madame Herda. I must do this for the safety of the Master Control Zone and the staff there. So I'll have to trouble you to take a bit of a detour. Sincerest apologies. Huh? You're not coming with us? My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and shut down the elevator once you've made it to the Master Control Zone. You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the Master Control Zone, right? Agreed. He and I made it here safely. And now we've also got Don Hung. We're more than enough to protect you. Let us worry about the Antimatter Legion. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. Aren't you a nice kid? Thank you. Do you know why the Antimatter Legion would invade the station, Arlan? They must have come for Madame Herta's collection. But as to why, I still. I heard there's something called a Stellaron in Madame Herta. Clemency? Never heard of it. <laughs> This is our chance. How about this? Reach the end of the story in your own way. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Hey, 
You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> Let's make it quick. Rules are made to be broken! Couldn't have done it without me. The repulsion bridge has been shut down? Yes, to stall the enemy, more or less. I have... You couldn't have done it without me. Oh, hey, these shiny things. Are these light cones? I thought only the Interastral Peace Corporation had rare stuff like this. No. Light cones are Garden of Recollection technology. They allow you to carry memories around. Very potent enhancement items. I heard the corporation paid a lot for the usage rights. But I've no idea how Herta managed to get hold of one. They were acquired legitimately. That's all I can say. Take them. They're very useful in combat. the 
elevator already? That wasn't too many monsters. Move carefully. This sanctuary is but a vision! Make it quick. Never heard a time <laughs> now. The truth of life and death, revealed in and into this sanctuary, is but a vision! Exciting. Anyway, at least you're back. March, Dun Hung, you've been through a lot. Oh, phew. Himeko, what took you so long? That last wave of antimatter legion came at us like a swarm of locusts. Have you ever tried shooting locusts with a bow? I wouldn't have made a difference. My orbital cannon can deal with a whole bunch of enemies at once, but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. Herda would not like that. 
<sighs> Are you all right, Arlam? Asta's been worried about you. I'm fine. A quick patching up will do. Thanks for asking. I'll report the situation to lead researcher Asta immediately. Bye. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. In other words, she's in charge of where the Express goes. March hasn't been any trouble for you along the way, has she? Think carefully about how you want to reply to that. just my charm, and I didn't cause any trouble. You just have to get used to me. Look, Don Hung agrees, right? I have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Come on, Asta's been worried about all of you. Keep at it. Keep at it. See that, Sheila? History always repeats itself. History? Gun, this is the first time I have witnessed the space station in such disarray. Oh, Sheila. When we face a home planet. Never mind. We researchers of all- They may be part of the- At the space station. And I, Luke, if you are in- Protect Rick all together! <laughs> Open your benign- Protect rare item rights! Set
radar tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves. Asta, we're back. Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill-prepared for such emergencies. We should have built up our security and combat departments. But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the space station? The situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herta? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko. The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herta and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. Oh, that would be of great help.
I'll leave the reassurance of the researchers in your hands. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to come to Himiko and me. I caught the Antimatter Legion sooner. I hope all this.
Push the stick down, Alfred. Thanks, kid. But first, let's talk about the controls. Our pre-checks have three... It's quite a bit to remember. Are you ready? Three... Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> that was very helpful of you, kid. Alfred was the researcher in charge of this. He... Abraham was close to him. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. I need to leave. No, it's a look. The obstacle I know in my heart. How insightful. I will pull myself together. and leave. I'll stay. But... Let's go. <laughs> Communications. Are you thinking of going back? Well, let me remind you. That's the Doomsday Beast. The Legion's planet destroyer. The space station is Herta's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. <laughs> but we can't just run away like this, right? <sighs> the Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. That's why we have to leave and take him with us. Hmm? 
he's that important? He's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course, I may be wrong. <sighs> As you say so. All right. What should we do next? This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... Let's hurry up and get out of here. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. I told you I could fight. With me out here, how can we lose? Clemency? Never heard of it. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this!
it's over there. Could fight. <laughs> Let's make it quick. What about this? You won't get away. <laughs> Time for a detailed overhaul. Step aside. I have you. This is also the reward of trailblazing. to repent. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceives its desire to control the heavens. And I am no exception. You couldn't have done it without me. We need a strategy. This will strengthen our... Move carefully. This sanctuary is but a vision! 
for you. don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Let's make it quick. No interest in stoking coffee. Stop. You won't get away. This is our chance. Yeah. Combat the truth is of life and death mechanism. revealed in this sanctuary is but a vision. Time for a detailed overhaul. One at a time. Let's go. Batter up. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Worth our while.
worth our while. to repent. You won't get away. <laughs> Time for the main event. Keep up my tempo. That is a series of precise machinations. <laughs> Clemency? Never heard of it. Detailed overhaul. The best is yet to come. to repent. You won't get away. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. This song's just for you. Turn up the volume. Combat is a series of precise. Ha! Ha! Who's next?
Who's next? This is our chance. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never considers its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Reach the end of the story in your own way. isn't here. It has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes. Stay beast. It's really here. Get down here. Uh, careful, everyone.
Move carefully. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! A guest with no manners, huh? Who's the lucky one today? Let's go. Inviting you. Look out! You won't get away! Let's make it quick. Better up! Combat is a series of precise machinations. Don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. <laughs> Let's go. What about this? Uh, rules are made to be broken. Revealed in this sanctuary is but a vision. A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing. Detailed overhaul. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. <laughs> Take more than that. Let's make it quick. What about this? Uh, rules are made to be broken! You backstage are welcome! You won't get away! Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. One at a time! Clemency? Never heard of it. 
the truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! I don't remember inviting you. Look out! Okay now. Let's talk somewhere else. Is this the space station? Hello there. Not bad. It would have been even better if you didn't faint, but thanks to you, the Doomsday Beast was as tame as a kitten. It had no temper at all. Uh, you are kidding, right? Get up when you feel better. Himeko wants you to go find her. I have something to do, so I won't go with you. All right. By the way, we should exchange beacons. If you get lost or something, Feel free to text me.
you're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the Express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? Xandar came up with the name. You think I'd like it? So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in his body. <gasps> You're right! This little one's body truly is strange. You can leave. I'm discussing science with... what? what's her face? Himako? Science exists in objectivity. There's nothing to be secretive about. But as far as you're concerned, I think it would be better for you to listen in. After all, I have a lot of plans ahead involving you. Speaking of which, uh, Himako? Can I bring him in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask him yourself. This little twerp really has a temper. Don't worry, I won't hurt a hair on your head. With my skills, even surgery would be painless. Aren't you worried about that bomb inside of you? Let me help you while I'm still interested. Once I'm not, I won't do any studies, even if you beg me. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with stuff. We can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. Well, you should meet the others of the Genius Society. Some of them will trick you into thanking them after they milk you dry. At least I have my honesty going for me. Mm -hmm. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let him have a talk with Asta first and decide for himself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision.
such a lovely old fellow. He is member 56 of the Genius Society, one of the only two publicly elected ministers in the... However, he did not disclose... This is Madame Herda. In her senior year, this space... Day hey, there you are. It moved. What you're seeing is one of my remote controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Enough chit chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me, but somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. How were they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? to what? Are you even listening to me? We want to solve the mystery behind the eons. Right now, I want you to participate in this project. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. I call it the metaverse. Really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine. I am a team player. Then let's call it the simulated universe. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward.
Too late to repent.
right there while I give you a present! Let's go. What about this? Just a scratch. Try that again! Clemency? Never heard of you. <laughs> Keep at it. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! It's too late to repent. You have the worst luck running in what? Aside. I have no interest in stoking <laughs> The truth of life and death revealed in an in this sanctuary is but a vision With me out here, how can we lose? <laughs> you can't run! Let's make it quick Clemency? Never heard of it. My turn. Let's go. Uh, rules are made to be broken. Too late to repent. The time for now. You have the worst luck running into me. <clears throat> Let's make it quick. Yeah! We need a strategy. Move carefully. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> move carefully. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant, this sanctuary, is but a vision! Right. 
with me out here, how can we lose? Make it quick. <laughs> late to repent. Watch this! Let's make it quick. What about this? The sanctuary is but a vision! Break!
rules are made to be broken. No interest in con rules are made to be broken. Fighting is meaningless. Time to twirl! The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Huh? 
have no interest in conflict. Tough luck running into me! <laughs> Here! Watch this awesome move! We need a strategy. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. Move carefully.
It's getting late. Where to now? raises their IQ. By that, I think smart water raises their IQ. So, have you thought things through? Then come with me.
Dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express, and everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. Already? Hmm. I was just engaging in pleasantries. How can I help? You recognize this as well? Uh, Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. That also got modified a bit. Don Hong's room? Oh, you mean the archives? Ah, uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. I can't be bothered getting him out. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. Oh? Why are you interested in her room? Ah, oh, Pom Pom remembers Himiko saying that you saved her. Mmm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. Himiko likes using the phonograph a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. Welt likes collecting these jet black discs. It seems like they could be antiques. He'd be very happy if you could bring a few back. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Hmm? Who's there? I learned to sense incoming visitors after people kept barging in so frequently. Can I help you? Feel free. This is open to everyone on the Express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, 
I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the Express. I enter the collected data into the Archives data bank. I try to catalog the people and places the Express encounters, and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the data bank. Do give it a go. door is unlocked. Should I go in? Uh, better to wait till the room's owner comes back. Ahem! Hi! Hello! Attention all passengers! Attention all passengers! enough but at least everyone's here now he won't be here so just leave him be oh yeah take these a tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger think of it as an investment in your future growth for the jump.
the universe. The Astral Express. Eons. Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? This Stellaron thing in my body. Are you trying to catch <gasps> the stars? <laughs> I've done stuff like that before. But... It wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. Who knows? I don't remember anything before that. Who I am, where I'm from, my name... It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A way to get everyone down, huh? Cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about... 10 minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself and falls over every time. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. Uh, we're jumping in five minutes. You can have something to drink when it's over. Jumps are like this. They may feel novel the first few times, but you'll slowly get used to them after a few more. As for the mechanism, well, if you're interested, I'll explain it to you in detail when we have more time. For now, just sit and wait. Remember to close your eyes. It helps with the dizziness. All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Yurilo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So, that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven-day stopover time extended indefinitely. Indefinitely. Until the anomaly is removed. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? 
Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a Stellaron, as always. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But there's no need to worry. This isn't the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Even if we don't know much about them, at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Urelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. trust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions, and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. So it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. I enjoy being alone. Especially when I have important work to do. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. As I expected. Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be liberated of that duty. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Urelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Did you talk to Don Hung? How'd it go? <sighs> that 
That's our Don Hung. Always trying to look cool with his poker face. Don't mind him. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, are you ready? When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice, a very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. What? Is there something on my face? Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> mm. I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. All right, here comes the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team. Urelo 6, we're here. Ah, it really is one big snowball. Well, the Trailblaze path grants us faint power. It allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. Ah, snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hmm... Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Taikian Stadium? Or shall I? Oh, please stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two weeks of community service. I said drop it! Remember... We should stay vigilant. We know- Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phased ice powers. And Don Hung... Uh... He's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> let's go. Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing. <laughs> 